in today's video I will show you how to create a glowing text effect in Procreate. We will use an external font that you can download along with the color palette and star brush via the link below. If you like my YouTube videos, you can access more tutorials and brush sets on my Patreon via the link in the video description. Now let's grab our pencils and get started. I've gone ahead and created a vertical canvas with the dimensions of 2000 by 2500 pixels. First I want to change the background color into black, so the letters will pop up and glow better. For that I will double tap here at the lower part of the color disk. Then I will pick this yellow color from the palette and insert text. Since we are all artists here, I think it would be nice to write something art related. What comes to my mind is color your life. That's what we are here for. To change the font I will select all the letters and pick a font called Luckiest Guy. It's an external font which is free for commercial use. After you download it, you can import it here or right from the downloads. Actually, you can use any other font which is sans serif and bold. Alright, let me also make the text bigger. So I will click on this arrow and use uniform transformation. Then I will make it more compact. For that I will go to selection, which is this range icon. Switch to rectangle and remove color fill if it is on. Let's outline this word and then move it to the right and up. I will match it with this letter on the right side. Let's now select this word. Also move it up and a little to the left. I will match it with the letter Y on the left. And try to keep the same distance between the lines. After that we can move the entire text. I will try to make the distance same on the sides and on the top part it will be smaller than at the bottom. And now that we have the text we can start working on it. First of all let's go to the layers and drag this one down to place it under the empty layer. Then I will tap on it and select reference. Now whatever we do on this empty layer, we'll refer to the layer with the letters. Let me show you how it works. So I will click on this range icon and pick automatic selection. Make sure color fill option is turned off. I will tap on the background and then inside all letters. To get the entire background selected. But after that I will invert it. So now we have selected the text. And we can apply feather. Let's set the amount to around 4 or 5 percent. Then from the color palette I will pick any color, can be cyan. I will start dragging the color inside one of the letters. And without lifting the pencil up from the canvas, we need to adjust the color drop threshold. The amount will determine the thickness of the outline. I will set it to 10 percent. Now let's fill some other letter. And click continue filling with recolor. All we need to do is tap inside the letters. But we also need to pay attention to flood, which works same as color drop threshold. In the end the outlines should look the same. Once we did it, we can deselect. Now I will go to the layer with the blue letters and get it selected. On the layer with yellow letters, I will click clear. Now if we delete this layer, we will get the outlines. Probably you can ask, why not use the settings in the text that create automatic outlines? Let me show you. I mean this feature. If we make the letters same size, we will see that outlines are rather thick. It would work in some other design, but for this particular idea, we need the outlines to be very thin, so we can't use it. Anyway, let's continue working on the design. And to remove these sharp edges on the outlines, I will be using Gaussian Blur, but at a very low amount. It can be set to 1 or maximum 2%. Then I will duplicate this layer. Go to the one below 
and move it diagonally, just a tiny bit. We will get a few intersections. Then I will go to Adjustments, pick Hue Saturation Brightness and lower the brightness a little to change the color of this layer. It can be set around 38 or 37 percent. So we will get this golden color. Let's now go to the layer with the light yellow color and change its blending mode to Add. After that we will see some glow. Probably it's not very well seen in the video, but you can see it clearly on your canvas. Once we have these outlines, we can start coloring the letters. And for that I will create a layer above all layers. I am going to use some of these colors. And they were actually handpicked from the Procreate logo. I just used my finger and picked most vibrant colors, like this. Let me clear the layer and start working. You can use all these colors or just the ones that you like. I will apply them using soft brush from Airbrushing. The size can be set to around 14% and I will add these light spots, covering the letters. Here I will add green and as I already said you can go with your own combination. A little bit of blue, then purple, also here. And on these letters we can use some pink. Actually all these colors combine very well. We can also add some dark color, maybe dark pink. And I will also add some orange here. Alright, now that we applied all these colors, we need to apply Gaussian Blur to remove all the borders. And the amount of Gaussian Blur can be set to 25%. After that I will go to the layer and change its blending mode to color. You will get a result like this. The letters are glowing and they are all colorful. Let's go further and add some texture. For that I will create a layer and place it below all layers. Also pick white color from the color disk. I will just double tap here. We have this layer set to reference, so we can use it. I will go to selection and in automatic mode tap inside the letters. You may need to slide the pencil to adjust the selection threshold. To me it worked fine. Now I will tap on the brush and go to vintage set. From here I will select one of my favorite brushes with halftone texture. It is called Honey Eater. Let's set the size to around 42 or 41 percent and make a stroke on the letters. We will get this texture. I think it looks too bright, so I will go and lower the opacity of the layer, so the texture is slightly thin. Also I will do this. I will duplicate this layer that is set to reference and place it above the texture. Then I will change its layers mode to divide. Let's now click on the arrow and start dragging it diagonally to the left and up. Like this. We will get this highlight. Also we can use Gaussian Blur here to make it slightly blurry. I think around 3% is totally fine. All we need to do is add some sparkles. And for that I will create a layer under the layer with colors. We still have white color. And I will be using the star stamp. With the size set to 6%. I will be tapping on the letters. Mostly on these glowing parts. For example here. Also on this intersection, then in this corner. So we have some prompts that we can use. On this letter I will tap on the corner here. 
let's now go down and add the stamps on the second line. I'm adding one stamp on each letter in order not to overdo it. And I'm picking glowing parts, as I already said. We can change the corners. And here comes the last one. Now I will do this. I will duplicate the layer, go to the one below, and from adjustments I will select motion blur. I will start sliding vertically until it reaches 50%. Make sure the lines go strictly vertical. Then I will duplicate the stars again. Let's go here and apply motion blur, but this time slide horizontally. And make sure it goes strictly horizontal like this, with the amount set to 50%. If you want to make it more visible, you can duplicate these two layers, but I will keep it like this. I will just go to the layer with the stars and apply Gaussian Blur here. We can set it to 2 or 3%. And after the step our glowing text design is completely ready. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment below. You can access more tutorials on my Patreon page. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.